we're on our way back to Sweden. Hey everybody, how you doing today? We've got this 12 hour Swedish 24 hour meals ration. This is menu number 14. Taco stew. Now, that happens to be almost two of my favorite things. Tacos and stew. Let's bust this thing open. Now, if it was taco stews and beer, this would be perfect. So we have a little tear notch right here. Hopefully we will be successful. Going all the way across. And I was pretty close. We have a nice zip seal. Dump everything out so we can take a look at it. Right off the bat, a 24 hour meal energy bar. It's toffee. Peanut butter. It's nice that it has a little window in the back. Something is right here. I have no idea what that little stain is. The taco stew. Coffee, disinfection swab. Something is definitely leaking in here. I have no idea what it is, but there is like an oily residue. The nut cream. Some biscuits, these are probably oat biscuits. And lastly, some gum. I can't find anything open, but there is definitely a nice film uh, coming from something and there's a Oddly enough, like a minty kind of smell. And another thing to mention, this thing is very light. It is 312 grams or about 11 ounces, and it provides 1,400 calories of energy. And this calls for 4DL, or 400 milliliter of water. So we'll open this carefully on this tear notch. See if there's anything inside, giving them all a nice little, little mix. And this has a gusseted bottom, so we're going to open up that gusset as much as we can to ensure that we get that water all around this stuff. And if you look inside, you can even see it has a measure on the inside as well. I'm going to hold off on this, give this a good mix, because I want to make sure that this entire stuff mixes well. You can already smell those Mexican spices. And then we'll seal this up. and let it sit for those required minutes. And while we're waiting, let's get everything else onto the tray. We'll pop the spoon. Of course, we have our gum or our mints. Disinfection swab if we need it. Nut cream. The peanut butter, it seems the peanut butter did fail, so we are not going to be sampling the peanut butter, but we'll let it hang out with us. Some oat biscuits. And today I'm going to be using this knife sent to me by my buddy John. Thanks a lot. Magnum. I appreciate it. Wow. Those look good and smell incredible too. And then the toffee energy bar. Mmm. Mmm. And then I'll slide that coffee over here as well. Okay, and it's been 10 minutes. We'll open this up so you can see inside. Now, I did not put the full 400 milliliter in there. I put about 350, 375. But man, it's nice and thick. 
it's hardy, and it is substantial portion. Wow, that is a ton of good chow. So we can see all the little corn bits. Looks like we got some potato and some other stuff. All of you scrolling down there at the bottom of the screen. I'm quite sure we have some beef. Looks like we have a little bit of, uh, what would you call it, rice. Some other stuff, some red pepper. Let's take a look at that. It is very, very tomato-y. It, you... There's no getting around the tomato taste and that tomato flavor. That is, it, it's actually kind of strong. I'm used to a more spicy kind of blend, like a cayenne or something like that. This would definitely be the perfect time if you had some hot sauce, if you had some onion powder, just to boost this and change this whole flavor dimension. And then on to our oat biscuits. <laughs> Now, this doesn't seem exactly like it would go with this. I just I just don't see that like an oatmeal kind of cookie or cracker with that. But let's just give this a try. Mmm. It's light. It's crumbly. It's really sweet. Total fan of those. Now, with this nut cream, most people I've talked to that work in a Swedish military... They don't put this on their biscuit. They don't do anything like that. They just uh, take this right out of the packet. So the peanut butter would have been perfect for these. That would have provided a nice flavor combination. But peanut butter is something that you don't really mess with if it has gone bad. We'll take a look at this toffee energy bar. Those are rolled oats, by the way. Mmm. This is really pleasant. It's nice, soft, and pliable. It's not like one of like the first track ration bar that's really sticky. It doesn't leave that stickiness or stick to your teeth kind of thing. Just really smooth and that toffee flavor comes in, kind of comes out. And there's some chocolate in here as well, which really works. I'm going to see if I can do, dig up another thing of peanut butter to try it with these oat biscuits. Well, finding more peanut butter was a big negative, Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. I just cannot find one right now, so sorry about that. But I will have another one of these beauties. Mm. And we'll take a little pull of our coffee to go with it. And let's take a look at this. We'll just slice this open a little bit. And it is simply a nice hazelnut spread. Mmm. Very sweet. Oh, what the heck. I know you're not supposed to do it. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm going to try some on our oat biscuit. Mmm. That's good stuff. Let's take a look at our mints or our gum real quick. And it's just two xylitol briquettes of gum. And it says... Swiss mint flavor. Hmm. Well, I'm going to continue chowing down on this, but I won't hold you up. This was a 24-hour meals combat edition. Menu number 14, which was taco stew. Thank you very much for sending this to me. I super appreciate it. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all in my next review. Bye. <laughs>